Hello people, what is Crackalackin? So this is the next episode of my um, MMA series, No Skill to Skill. So this one's going to be focused on my cardio. So I'll show you the app I use. So first of all, I'll show you the app I use for cardio. Um, so this is the app. I know I'm going to be doing an episode on apps, which I, only sh I will show you this app briefly. Um, it's Adidas running app. As you see. Oh, you might be able to see. Try and there we go. So as you see, has the calories in the middle, distance you run, and um, the average pace. But I'll show you that app in more detail when I do my episode because I'm doing an episode on apps and protein shake. That's going to be one episode. But it's going to be a walkthrough of kind of the medals I've got and how I've kind of built my cardio up. So let's just start with how I've built my cardio up and why I've try to always make it important obviously I'm in a sport I'm not in a sport what I'm trying to make. I'm practicing should be the keyword practicing a sport that obviously requires a lot of cardio whether it's competitions I go to when I do my kickboxing competitions um, or if when I eventually get in the cage it all requires cardio so I need to keep my cardio top notch so I try and do cardio every week no matter what even if it's just a little 5k run or a little run here and there um, when I go through the apps you'll see my running kind of is picked up a lot recently because if you watch my fight camp then endurance is a part of that so we have to do runs quite a lot so this week for example I've done about four or five runs um, another one maybe later today we will see how I feel um, so I've always tried to keep cardio kind of one of the things that I'm really good at I wouldn't say I'm amazing, don't get me wrong, nowhere near amazing, but it's definitely one of those things that I think, you know, I've been, I, I've kept on top of and I've always tried to keep in good condition. Um, so that kind of leads me on to the marathons and the runs, that's why I've done these runs, because they help you keep on top of the cardio, and gives you something to try and train for and achieve for, so, because obviously with these, I've trained for every single one, um, with training with them and doing cardio in my own time as well, it's helped me get better and faster. And I get me wrong, I'm not trying to say I'm some super athletic Olympic runner. <laughs> no, you know. But I think my cardio's got better. So let's start from uh, where it all started. So the first one I ever did was the Eden Product Marathon. Uh, this was a full marathon and this was in 2018. It was the first one I ever did. Um, this one's quite special to me because it was for my stepdad, uh, quite ironically, his father's day. Um, mine passed away due to cancer. So this was kind of in his memory to make him proud of me and this was something I tried to do. Granted, I did it in seven hours. It wasn't the greatest time I did it in, seven hours. Um, so I was pretty slow at it, but it was my first ever one. And obviously I've improved upon them now. So that's the first one I did it. Did for my stepdad in his memory and I got a nice little top with it as well as a little momentum you know because some of them you do get tops some of them you don't so quite a lot of these are special to me in a way so that one was for my stepdad that's why I did that full on marathon and the next one I did was the poppy run which that one's quite close to, that, to my heart because again that was in 2018 that was the later half of 2018 that was kind of middle 2018 that uh, Eden Product Marathon and this one was kind of a little bit after like a couple months after near the end um, but this one's special to me because it was for charity was this one 2018 or yeah yeah was this one I did next yeah um, so this one was special because it was for charity um, if you, you, well, you don't know me obviously but you know I'd like to try and do stuff for charity so that one was for charity and again I got a nice little top with that one as well You know, it was only a little 3k, nothing special, but uh, yeah. Then I did this one, which again was quite special to me because this was the fun run. Can't remember where it was to be honest. It wasn't far, um, and it's one I did for my my little brother. Again, it's only a little 3k course with little obstacles in the, like obstacles here and there, uh, like ropes that we had to climb and stuff like that. Um, 
And yeah, special to me because it was done by my little brother. That was the first run he's ever done. First ever kind of sports thing I kind of got him into. And so yeah, he's done running since then, but yeah. So that was 2019. The beginning of 2019. Yeah, 2019. And then towards the end of 2019, I did this one. This, these two aren't really that special to me, but they're still achievements. Um, this was the Tough Mudder finisher, 10k, Bristol. And as you could tell, Tough Mudder. It was a very muddy course. It was very. It was an Ashton Gate court. Um, and that's the first 10k. I've tried to do 10ks and get better at them so I can cut my time. So this was the first kind of 10k I tried. I think I managed to do it in an hour and 10 minutes. And then this one, which is the non to this year. Um, because I haven't done any since, obviously, because of lockdown, is the winter warmer, which I literally did at the beginning of 2020, uh, I think uh, February, March. Um, and again, that was Ashton Gate Court, but it wasn't a muddy course. And I think I did that one in one hour and two minutes, or six minutes. And obviously, since then, I have still been running, and I have managed to cut my time, times down. Um, I can now do 10Ks in about an hour, which, again, like I'm saying, not amazing, not Oh, super athlete level, but you know, I think it's really good. So this year's plans was to do the Bristol 10k, which would have been in May, just gone. But obviously that got cancelled, and I was going to do another half marathon, I'm kind of a step up. Because I think now I've got good at running, or decent at running, I could do 10k's in an hour, and I could do a 2k in 10 minutes. You know, I want to push myself to that next level now, and do a half marathon, and do that in a good time. The ultimate goal is to eventually do the Spartan race, circuit uh, race, and the Tough Mudder course. That was Tough Runner, I quit. That one was a Tough Runner one. But the eventual goal is to do Tough Mudder and Spartan circuits. But they are two of the hardest marathon runs you could do because there's obstacles along the way and then you need a team for that. So that's the ones I want to do. Um, I'm still going to do runs, I'm still going to do marathons here and there. It's just something I enjoy doing. I know some people find it boring because you're just running and some of the events don't allow music. Some do, some don't. Um, but I just enjoy doing them, really. It's really helpful for cardio, but I would say one thing. If you're going to do cardio, don't push yourself too much. Don't, like, chuck yourself in the deep end too much, you know. I know I, I know. I started with a half marathon, but that was for a personal reason for my stepdad. Like I said, ironically, it's start far as day. Um, but if you're going to start a run, start getting into running. Just do little runs here and there throughout the week, even this little 1K. And then build your way up so you get better and find them more, less tough. That would be the advice i give you. Start small, then work to the big goals. And always set a goal as well. Like, I've always set myself a goal. So, obviously, I've set my, like I said, I set a goal, first of all, to do a 10k an hour. I now can do that. Then I set myself a goal to do a 2k in 10 minutes. I now can do that. So, set goals for yourself and don't push yourself too hard too soon. Because I guarantee you, you will pay for it. Um, for example, that half, that full marathon I did, my legs were absolutely freaking killing me the day after. I could not barely move. And I had work that night as well, uh, the day after. The day was an agony. Whereas now, I could do a 10k and my feet were right. I could do 5k and my feet were right. So, you know, set goals, but push yourself. So that has been the cardio side of things and kind of your, my journey of how I've got better at cardio and kind of set myself goals. Um, I think the next one is either to do with my food or drink, what I drink and food intake. Um, so I hope you look forward to that. I hope, sorry there's not been much demonstration this one, but not all of them going to have demonstrations. But kickboxing one and other martial arts and the BJJ episodes are coming very soon. So there will be a lot of demonstrations in those as well. So, yeah. But the next few will be the talking. But I will be showing some food and drink off when I do food and drink ones. But anyway, i got to actually go to a PT lesson now. So I'm an inspiration, right? And I'll catch you on the other side.